Good morning guys. Well, it's just another day of lockdown here in the UK, but I thought we'd spice things up today by doing one of my favorite videos to film and one of your favorite videos to watch, which is a full day of eating, but we're gonna make a vegan day of eating. <laughs> Now there are two reasons why I really wanted to do this and one is because it's veganuary and I know a lot of people are actually going completely vegan for a month which I think is so incredible but also I just kind of wanted to show you some vegan meals that even if you aren't vegan you can kind of introduce into your lifestyle because that is exactly what I do so I'm not a vegan I eat vegan meals a lot of the time I eat vegetarian I would say 90% of the time there are a few things I'm not 100% ready to give up yet like fish sushi is literally my favorite food ever and I can't imagine life without it at the moment but apart from that I think it's amazing to try and reduce your meat consumption where possible and I think this is the perfect time to do it but I thought today I'd just show you a few fun meals that I make I haven't completely planned them out if I'm going to be really honest um in fact um I do know what we're having for dinner because I'll go through it later but it was really really kind sent to me in like a box so we're going to sort of build the recipe from the ingredients that the brand has given it looks like it's going to be really yummy yeah apart from that we will just see what we feel like eating throughout the day but i'm really excited to be able to share these vegan recipes with you <music> pre-sliced bagels which are Warburton's ones rather than the New York bagels which are the ones that I think I usually get but I picked them up from Tesco this morning in my essentials food shop and I just remember that a few videos back I had those really gross tasting avocados does anyone remember that they were like really stringy and just awful but hopefully they won't be like that today then we've got lime some chili salt pepper which is just generally how I usually make them loads of chili flakes because I really like it spicy and some of the really nice vegan butter which I think I've spoken to you about before so I will stop wittering on and eat my breakfast. Who's gravity? I'm swimming in the quicksand. Up to my knees. Hey Els. What? What are you having for breakfast? What are you gonna make me? Are you having lotus biscuits? This is literally my diet versus Elliot's. In fact, we should do another one of those videos where we swap diets for the day because it would actually be so funny. Because you use basically random snacks until dinner time and no meals and cereal. Do you want to show, show them what you bought the other day? Rice Krispies. We've got a nice selection of cereal building up on the countertop. I've eaten most of them. Really? He bought, you know, those little mini Kellogg's boxes of tiny cereals that children eat. <laughs> Let's see. It's so funny. I actually didn't even know that they sold them anymore. They're great. Amazing. So I thought as we were vlogging today, I'd show you some of the PR things I just picked up. And the first one is, funnily enough, I literally just saw this on Instagram and I thought, oh, that looks really nice. And then it was there as a PR package. So we have got the Body Shop Drops of Youth range, but this is the new product they're basically like promoting at the moment, which is the Bouncy Jelly Mist Environmental Protection. I feel like I can probably use that now over makeup. It's basically a hydrating mist. And what it smells so nice. Oh God, I did that way too close to my face. 
wow, it's quite a powerful spritz, but so refreshing and hydrating. Love that, because I have super dry skin. And then also their liquid peel and drops of use concentrate. And then actually one thing that did come, which I want to try out now, is for my Fitbit, because Fitbit very kindly sent me their Versa 3 a while back. A while back? A while back. It sends it to me with a pink strap, so you will have noticed I've been using a pink strap for ages, because it was literally impossible to get another strap for it. Like their website was a back order and it's taken three months to arrive, which is a bit mental. Anyway, we've got a new strap and I basically, I don't really like pink. So when I was wearing it, I was always a bit like, oh. But I've actually gone for the gray and I don't know if I love the color of gray. Like gray with the like turquoisey bits. And I think I'd prefer it if it was the other way around, to be honest. But we shall see because I've actually been using this lovely strap, which is from a brand called Prominence, who very kindly sent it to me to try out. And it's one of those really cool like metal straps, which is amazing for during the day. And like when I'm styling it with outfits and things, but not so great when I want to do exercise, which obviously I'm usually doing with my Fitbit. So let's put this on. Is that the right way around? Well, it looks cute. So there we go. But yeah, I have the Versa 3. I actually get quite a lot of questions about my Fitbit because people often ask me if it's an Apple Watch and it's not an Apple Watch, it's Fitbit. And I have had an Apple Watch in the past. And to be honest, I actually like them just as much as each other. I really like my Apple Watch, but it did just die on me eventually. The battery is so bad on Apple Watches, like so, so bad. The Fitbit, you only have to charge it every few days. And even if you can only put it on charge for like five minutes while you're in a shower, it gives you like basically a whole other day of charge out of that. So from that point of view, I'd say that it's really good. But apart from that, I think Fitbit and Apple Watch are like both really, really good. And yeah, I just really love it. But just make sure you don't get too obsessed by fitness watches or trackers or whatever, because they're not necessary, basically. Just don't get too obsessed with looking at numbers. But it's really interesting to track sleep and everything like that. But I actually love that now it's on. Wasn't too short on the color because I've gone off gray a little bit recently. But that looks fabulous, so great. And then the other thing is this package, which was from a PR company called Brandstand Communications. And they just sent like a combination of things. So some of it is this brand, Well, Well, Wellada. I don't know how you say it, but we've got like a body butter, body butter, <laughs> body butter, a skin food, and then a lip balm, which I might try out now because my lips are feeling really sore. But the, the note that came with it actually says, please find enclosed products from some amazing sustainable brands. So I wanna read a bit more about them. I really like, oh my God, that smells so nice. I really like the applicator for this. Is that, kind of, oh God, oh no. Wow, that's really oily. Oh, oily but nice. Okay, yeah, that's nice. And then we've also got some body wash, which is always lovely, an evening primrose one, and a new toothpaste, which I actually really need at the moment. So that is perfect LA Pacific enzyme whitening toothpaste. And what cool packaging as well. So lunchtime. So I think I fancy for lunch, just a bowl of loads of different fresh ingredients, but something that's a bit more like Asian inspired soy saucy sort of thing. So I think I'm gonna go for tofu as the protein if I have it. I'm actually not 100% sure if I do have it, but I think I remember seeing it in the fridge yesterday. But I basically didn't feel that well last night. I don't know what it was. I just felt a bit sick and like really run down. And I was expecting to not wake up feeling well this morning and I literally feel completely fine today. So, sorry, I feel like I'm I'm speaking very quickly as well. I think we'll do that. And then a little bit of rice is the bottom because I always try and have a carbohydrate. Well, I don't try. I always have carbohydrates, a lot of them in my meals, just because that seems to be the way that I sort of build my meals. So we'll go for some rice, a little bit of tofu if I've got it, and just like loads of micronutrients, veggies, healthy stuff to go with. And I'll think of a nice dressing as well. Keep loose and sleep, I'm magic dream at midnight. Right, so we have got tofu and I am not gonna properly go through what I do with it because I do the same thing every time, but I basically just chop it into chunks and coat it in corn flour because it makes it a bit crispy. So we had a little bit left over from, I don't know why, why I left that much tofu over from something. That seems really, really pathetic. And luckily I had some more in the fridge. Right, we've made a complete 
complete mess. Basically, I've done way too much um, corn flour, but you know, it's better having too much than not enough. And we're just gonna fry that in a little bit of sesame oil and maybe add a little bit of soy sauce too. Right, while those are cooking, I'm just gonna chop up some random stuff that I had in the fridge. So I've just got random like ends of things. We actually have a bigger food shop coming on Sunday, but it's not gonna be here for a little while. So we're just literally using up random stuff that I've got in the fridge and this is definitely a bit squishy, but it will do. So cucumber, we'll do a bit of orange pepper. I'm just gonna do like a quarter of this. And a bit of spinach. We've got this pretty much off piece of carrot that was in the fridge and I'm actually just gonna take off the brown bits and then use this like fancy, I guess it's like a peeler grater thing, but it almost makes like julienne things, but in like strands and I actually really like it. So it makes these like strandy bits of carrots and I think it's fab. My dad got me this for Christmas last year and I actually use it all the time and it's got different attachments, which I think is fabulous. And apparently it's quite hard to do one small carrot with. Uh, I really feel like I'm about to chop my fingers off. Maybe we'll leave it at that. So we've got this cute curled curly whirly carrot. And then the other things, I have with some sweet corn left over from the fridge. This whole lunch is just literally whatever Annie's got for leftovers, basically. So we'll go with a little bit of sweet corn. In fact, in fact, this is not quite how I want to build the bowl. So we'll leave the sweet corn until I've put the rice and stuff in. And the other thing I'm gonna add is some of this pickled red cabbage just because it's so nice and I love a bit of like a tangy flavor with everything. And some spring onion. And we'll make a nice dressing. This would actually be a really good recipe to make for lunch if you were a bit more prepared for it. So it could actually be a really, really quick recipe if you made all the ingredients on a Sunday or on a Wednesday or whenever you like to meal prep and just keep them all in the fridge in separate containers. It would just make it really, really easy and then you could just build your bowl every day and pick the bits that you fancy to go in. So I'm gonna do a whole spring onion just because I've honestly got obsessed with spring onion in the last year. I don't know if you've seen my recipe reels on Instagram, but I seem to use spring onions in literally all of them. But I just think the flavor is really good. So that is it for the things going in the bowl. Then for the dressing, so I'm just gonna make it in a little mug. I was gonna do a miso tahini dressing, um, but I actually don't think I've got any tahini. So. We'll just go with miso, which is like a sesame paste. If you haven't had it before, I think it's literally amazing. You can actually pick it up from the world food section of most just like bigger supermarkets. So I'm just putting a little bit of that in a mug. By the way, I actually don't know what I'm doing here. Um, we'll go with a bit of lime, just cause we like it a bit zesty. That's a quarter of a lime. And then the other thing that I've got out, but I don't know whether it's gonna completely ruin it, is this chili garlic sauce which is another kind of like staple Asian like sauce ingredient. And it's, I think I actually remember it being really spicy. Yeah, that's quite spicy. Actually really spicy and really garlicky. So we'll just do a, a little bit and mix that together. And then I'm probably gonna have to add a bit of water as well. But already you can see that it's forming into a nice dressing. In fact, it might not need Actually, no, I'll put a little bit of water in just because I want to be able to drizzle it everywhere. That looks honestly delicious. Maybe I'll add a tiny bit more miso. And we're done. And it tastes nice as well. Right, we're going to build bowls. We've got rice, which I've made literally about three portions of. But we can keep that in the fridge. So we're going to do a bit of the rice. I'm gonna try and make it look really fancy. Then we've got some spinach for some greens. We've actually got so many veggies in this and I'm here for it. Parrots, then we'll go with the tofu. This looks so good, by the way. A little crispy tofu nuggets. This actually looks like it's gonna be a really big portion. I'm actually really hungry. Then some peppers. I'm really overthinking this, but I just want it to look really pretty. Cucumber next. Orange and sweet corn. This dish honestly couldn't go more badly with the weather outside. Today there's literally a storm. <laughs> I know I'm eating like I'm in Bali, but you know. Pickled cabbage, which I'm so excited for because I just think it's just the best addition. 
Oh, there's, God, there's hardly any left. Right, that's honestly so sad. There's like a tiny sprinkling left. I'm really upset. And it's completely ruined the arrangement of my bowl now. Right, we're gonna have to spread everything out. How disappointing. Right, well, maybe the cabbage can be a sprinkle. Oh, honestly, one of my favorite parts as well. We've got the spring onions. Sesame seeds, yeah, let's do some sesame seeds. So a few sesame seeds. And then finally, our delicious dressing, which I've just realized I forgot to add water to. So one second, I'll be back. Okay, and then we will just coat in our dressing. This looks exactly like what I'm in the mood for. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, that looks so delicious. Let me show you up close. Look at that lunch. Wow, I feel like I've really outdone myself. I think that looks literally amazing and so easy to make. And like I said, it'd be such an easy one to meal prep as well. Got lots of vegan protein and just, you know, loads of carbs, loads of micronutrients, and it will taste incredible. I've just realized that I've been looking a bit like an egg all day, but I'm feeling like we need a an afternoon picnic. Pick me up? Pick me up. Oh God, that really got me that one. And ooh, and I actually hate that I'm doing this, but I do do this quite often and I'm gonna have a white monster and I'm just gonna be really transparent with you. I suddenly had a bit of a freak out that it wasn't vegan. Why would it not be vegan? No, it is vegan, I think. Okay, well, don't quote me on it. If it's not vegan, I'm really sorry, but I'm pretty sure they are vegan. But yeah, I just, I just love a white monster. If I'm gonna be really honest. I can't seem to go more than a few days without having one and I do have one like, most days which isn't good but it's because we buy them to keep in the fridge now which is probably not a good thing because it just means that they're really readily available but yeah i'm gonna have a little monster and get some work done just at my desk and then it'll probably be time for a snack in a few hours right it's definitely time for a little snack now it's going to the horrible filming in the uk part of the day where the light goes horrible so is this okay i sometimes think it's actually better without the light hang on Mm, I don't know, maybe this is better. Okay, so what I'm thinking, a snack. It's funny, it doesn't actually look that dark in the little screen thing, but it honestly feels pitch black in here. So for a snack, I'm thinking rice cakes, peanut butter and banana is the sort of thing I've been craving. I feel like I want something a little bit sweet. And I do have some dark chocolate, which is vegan, but I think I am gonna save it till after dinner or something. So I'll probably want it there. So for a snack, I actually, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't had rice cakes in a long time, but I used to be so obsessed with them and I literally love them. And I know some people label them as like health food kind of thing, but I actually just think they're so nice. These are the lightly salted ones. I'm just gonna have two of these with a little bit of peanut butter, which I was stocked up on before, and some banana as well. I might not have a whole banana just because I don't really feel like I need it. I just want a little bit. Okay. This peanut butter, by the way. Oh wow, that's a lot of peanut butter. If you're in the UK, by the way, this peanut butter is so great. It's the whole earth one, and it's just the consistency for spreading, like it never separates, so it's a really good one for that. But if I'm putting it in a smoothie or whatever, I'm not as fussy about it. However, I have seen that it does have organic sustainable palm oil, and if anyone actually knows the difference between that and normal palm oil and whether sustainable palm oil kind of means like actually safe for the rainforests, please let me know because I actually didn't think that whole earth would contain palm palm oil but it does so yeah because I need to know whether I should be buying it or shouldn't be buying it and actually if anyone has a good peanut butter alternative I'd love it if you left it in the comments just because I'm always on the lookout for some good ones that are palm oil free and not full of loads of rubbish as well as much as I do like the ones that are really sugary so just a little bit of peanut butter I feel like this has turned into a very chatty white in a day video today I think I usually just film the meals which is probably easier to watch to be honest but here we go we're in a chatty mood today okay so this is a very chunky banana as well and i'm just gonna do little slices to make it look cute and maybe i might actually drizzle a bit of honey as well if we've got any oh no that's not vegan i won't drizzle honey <laughs> no <laughs> maybe i've got something else to drizzle on it maple syrup okay that is just the perfect little snack oh whoops 
And that will take me right through to my workout. I hope that Elliot and I are gonna do today. He has said we're gonna do workout at five o'clock, but I seem to be so unmotivated to do workouts by myself at the moment. I feel like I'm really relying on doing a workout with a partner to actually get one in. But anyway, that'll be a perfect pre-workout snack, which will hopefully keep me going until dinner time. Maybe just a bit of kind of bitter. Elliot's trying to tempt me with some sweets. But they're not vegan, are they? I actually, know. are they? Maybe. They could be. Let me just No, uh, Elliot's literally the worst sabotage no, partner. Not. You're making it out like I eat rubbish all the time. These are vegan. Right. No, but you're really bad at, he's really bad at persuading me to get things. I'm very good at persuading only to get things. That's very good. <laughs> right, so we are gonna make this and we'll see how it is. So this was sent from Tiba Tempe. That was such a cute name. Tiba Tempe. Tempe. Yeah. And it's called Creamy and Spicy Pasta, which I have to say is not a combo that I thought would naturally go together, but it says it's literally 10 to 15 minutes. So they sent us all the ingredients and we we should just go. By the way, I just did a workout, which is why I feel a bit like bleh. Same. I haven't showered. No, you haven't, you little, you little skim. Whatever. But I haven't showered yet because I was honestly starving. I was just saying to Elliot, I feel like, I don't know if anyone else gets this, but when I've done a workout and haven't eaten or just haven't eaten for a while. Why are you smiling? The reason. <laughs> Why? Why? I think I've got just a bit of a problem with my blood sugar levels basically and it just kind of drops and then my mood's like Ugh. I just feel like I've got no energy at all. So we need to eat before we shower. So Elzo. Yeah. Right in the fridge at the bottom tempeh. I know we've got quite a lot but it's the sweet chilli one. Fish bash bosh. So this is what it is. Then in that little brown package. In fact I'll get it. Also look at the bowl that they sent. A little coconut bowl. Cute. Oh my god, is this what we're gonna eat? Yeah, we're gonna share it. <laughs> you can eat it in that one. Ooh, garlic and cashews in this bag. Right, so cook the pasta according to the instructions on the packet. Right, that's something you could do. Yeah, I can I'll cook the pasta, I'll manage the pasta. That's my <laughs> that's me. Such a tricky job. So it says here 150 grams for two of us. Guys, this is the ultimate teamwork. In a blender, add the creamy sauce ingredients. That's so easy, okay. Okay, so creamy sauce ingredients. 40 grams of cashews. That's what they've given us in here. Two garlic cloves. Do you want? Hmm. One garlic clove for now. Elliot is eating sweets while we're preparing a delicious hearty meal. We've got nutritional yeast in this, which I actually really like, but I haven't had it for years. Okay, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. This honestly looks like fish food. I actually forgot how weird this looks. Look, doesn't it look like fish food? Oh my food? god, it literally is. <laughs> like the little flakes. Such a weird tasting thing, but really nice. Okay, half a cup of water and salt and pepper. literally the easiest recipe ever that's literally it wow so i've just realized that i left the cream cheese out so we've got this nash vegan cream cheese that's gonna go in there and i'm gonna have to re-blend it we've got three tablespoons i'm honestly so up for a creamy pasta Ooh, okay and then we will re-blend this that literally tastes like cream cheese Delicious. We've just whack the spinach in there and then Elliot's gonna put the spaghetti. Oh lovely. Um and then half the wow this is hard with one hand. Oh, you got this. Ooh. That looks just it smells so delicious. Sweet. This smells very garlicky. Oh my gosh, that looks unreal. So that's pretty much done. So we can serve it up and then we add the little tempeh pieces that are left on top. And here we have it, the final meal of the day. Because they sent these 
Coco Bowl, what, is that what they're called? Coco Cabana, I think the brand is. Because they sent one, I thought it would be just perfect to, you know, have mine in there. And then Elliot's got his. Man bowl. A man, man, bowl. man bowl. And it looks unreal. Can't wait to try. Yeah, I'm actually buzzing. Well, that was a delicious dinner and such a good last meal of my vegan day of eating. The only other thing, and I'm actually gonna have them in a sec, but I'm gonna stop filming and get in the bath after this, is these hotel chocolat, chocolate, chocolate, what do you say? Chocolat. Oh, you say that, do you? I actually say chocolat. 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 I feel like it's not chocolate because it's spelled like chocolat. Hotel chocolate. Anyway, the... the hotel chocolat. <laughs> these vegan friendly dark chocolate batons which were actually from my dad for christmas i think but we have a bit of a thing in my family where my dad always gets me some stuff from there and he always fills our advent calendars up with chocolate from there dark chocolate for me because i love dark chocolate and then my mum always gets us some stuff as well so it's kind of like a weird tradition on both sides of the family so I'll probably finish these, but they're these little batons and they are so, so nice. They're vegan friendly, but just honestly taste so creamy. The only other thing that I wanted to touch on a little bit, because I do feel like, I don't know, it's probably just worth saying, is when I eat vegan meals, I tend to stay away mainly from things like chickpeas and lentils, not because there's anything wrong with them. In fact, they're amazing and really high in fiber and just really nutritious, but they just don't personally react very well with my stomach and I don't find them very easy to digest and especially when I'm doing a lot of filming I kind of actually can't afford to be that bloated all the time so yeah I do stay away from those things but they are amazing and I'm not saying that like you shouldn't eat them and things but that's probably why there's a little bit more uh, kind of like I like to say like man-made vegan protein in my meals than things like yeah chickpeas lentils pulses not to say i don't ever eat them it's just they're not my go-to's for during the week so yeah i'm gonna wrap the video up here but i hope you have enjoyed watching it i would love to do another one of these actually because i found it i just found it great i love vegan eating how, how about you yeah it was fair i feel like you're doing so well with veganism for some days of the week yeah i'm, I'm with your doing, little vegan sweets i'm doing great to be honest and um, do you want to say bye hi guys bye guys <laughs> hope guys, you enjoyed the guys. video thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Oh, and subscribe to me and yeah whatever bye <laughs>